today I will introduce you how to use ECU data to generate a EIS data. Some customers EIS was stolen or just destroyed, cannot use again and cannot collect the data. So today I teach you a way to use ECU data to generate a EIS data here. Okay. First, you need to check the ECU support list here. Your ECU should be support, then you can do it here. Today, I got a ME 9.7 here. Okay. This this key is the ECU original car key. You can check. The diagram here. And this one is this one is our ECU task platform here. It is this is connect OBD. This cover connect to ECU and Support list here. It shows ME 9.7 here. Support uh, to BMW ECU and others all Benz ECU. Okay, we connect uh, connect it first. Just for easy to use, no need to follow, no need to wear it. Here, you can check. Not clearly, but uh, still can see the dot seven here. ME nine dot seven. Okay, then. We need OBD cover here. Connect it and connect with our CGMB USB cover. Still need our power here. We power to the ECU test platform. Okay, here you must to when you use the ECU test platform, you must to make sure you crack you install the correct uh, option. Otherwise, it may damage your ECU. Okay. We read the ECU. Here, the VN here and the key information. We generate the yes state. Save it. Here the new folder here. Save it. Click OK. Then we need enter this save. One six four new yes here 
this yes is used one we need to wipe it then we can write a new data here connect the AC adapter here and the OB cover here connect OB cover one diagram yeah one six four new according with its adapter here according to the wiring according to the diagram to wiring OBD cover and we need another key we insert it here Here we need the cover here from the one six four one six four. There are two covers from the correct one. This one, the yellow cover is in the middle. This one, the yellow cover, is in the position one. Okay, we use this cover. And here, the power here, yes power. And the can low and the can high, connect it. Okay. Okay, we connect it. Then USB and uh, and the uh, power here. Close it. You can we can read the yes date. Here you can check it has three keys here and This one is the key. Okay. We can. We have the B key. We can read the key direct from. Read the password direct from the key. Or you can choose collect the data to calculate the password. We copy it. And. Pass it here, then save yes date. This is yes date here. Original. Original. One, two, four, date. Save it. Okay, then we write password. We need to wipe the yes, then we write a new date here. Click OK. Then we wipe the yes. Here, we need the simulator key here. When the chips you insert the simulator key, you insert. Here, the right means it is communication. If the yes succeeds, we click OK. Then we read the yes data again. And the key, this one, the yes key is useless now. OK, you can check the information. 
key yes key information all disabled and it uh, not activated here here we need to load the ECU date this one this ECU date we load the date and we need to write three positions the van make sure it is the same as your original van here we read from the ECU the van is, is okay and the SSD we can read the SSD from the key original key this is B key if your original key is smart key you still can read the SSD copy it Yeah, allow modification. Sorry. Okay. You can check the asset ID. Yeah. With the with the original car SSD must be same here if you don't have the original key you can read the ECU EEPROM and find the SSD on from the same instrument EEPROM it can read it too but it is very hard so best way is to read from the key SSD here okay we need this key we have our SSD and the VN correct then the password here here we don't have the password so we set it manually whatever you want it is all okay okay then here we save yes data Build a new folder. Hmm. Yeah, let's use one six four. One six four dent. New. We'll pass. We'll pass. Okay. We see it. Then here. We read the yes date. You, um, our yes is being wiped here, so we need to write the yes date. Okay, you can check. Wiped here. We load here. This one will pass. Open it. Here. Then we write yes date. Right, the van the very is okay you click okay <coughs> and uh, here same steps when the tips you insert the <coughs> yes you insert it here <coughs> right yes it succeed you click okay and uh, We read the yes date again. <coughs> you can check the SSID and VN password. Password we have it. No, we need to use this uh, yes information to generate a key we love fair we'll pass then here generate
seaweed. Okay, we this key. Use this key again. This key is our yes key, but no is useless here. We reset it. You can check. I use SSD or zero zero here. We open fair. Choose five one format. It is the B key. Mm, here we choose position one. Open it. It is writing key prom. With a rest seeds. Click OK. Then here we insert the yes. Here you can check if you key have battery inside. You can check it has a right. Okay. We read yes it again. It has been activated here. Position one used here, and we read we read the key again. Used here, activated used. Okay, final step. We load our issue date. Open it. You can check the VN here is not changed. Here we click right here. Okay. You need to change the SSID and the password, then add a key to activate to activate the yes, then write the VN here. You click OK. The VN is four three two four. We read yes data again. You can check the SSID changed here, VN and the password. Three place SSID. You need to read from the key or from ECU EEPROM and the VN. You need to activate the ES first, then write the VN. Otherwise, it we cannot activate the yeah, it's so here. Then finally, the password. You set the password, but some ERV have password too. Here. This 204, 207, and 212. This is 3 ERV. <coughs> Normally have a pass side, password inside. So you need to erase the ERV. Then get back to the car, it can work. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your watching.